Well, the House of Lords is voting on it on Monday, and that's very important uh, because the, there are so many issues in this bill which are a threat to our civil liberties, and I hope the House of Lords does that, but it's also the growth of protest around the country as people realise how their civil liberties are under threat. Well, Boris Johnson loves a party, and uh, it is deplorable what he's done, it's deplorable the way he behaves, and it's deplorable the conduct of his team. But it's not the only issue. The issue is the corruption surrounding uh, health service contracts during the pandemic. The issue is the privatisation of services and the underfunding of public services. And as I said in my speech, it's about the growing, yearning gap between the richest and the poorest in our society, which he's making wider all the time. Well, the government is losing its confidence and its strength because of the behaviour of the Prime Minister. And that opens up all kinds of possibilities about this and the Borders and Nationality Bill being uh, reduced, if not defeated altogether. So we're keeping up the pressure. I'm here because I'm opposed to the legislation the government is putting through, which I think is anti-democratic, abuse of our human rights, and will prevent us even doing this to protect our human rights. What's your reaction to the Christmas parties in, in Danny? It's appalling. I think Johnson should go. He should resign immediately. Uh, I mean, it needs to be scrapped, it needs to be voted against, there needs to be um, a lot of people that are... I mean, there needs to be more people here. Um, unfortunately, there's not, and I think that uh, the current stories about parties are being used as a way to distract away from a very um, important issue and uh, something that is kind of between us and democracy. This defines us being a, a, dem a democracy or not. You know, obviously protest is an important aspect of being a citizen in a country. Um, so yeah, come down, take up space in the street, uh, try and show uh, the, the government, the establishment that people don't support the bill. So the, they can't uh, imply that they're speaking in the name of the British people when clearly there's lots of British people that don't support this bill that would, you know, impact on our rights. protecting democracy. This bill, the police bill, is trying to shut down freedom of speech. And I will not be silenced along with these thousands and thousands of other people. Yeah, this, this is, is democracy. back democracy for 500 years in this yeah. country. It's an absolute disgrace. Yeah. Without freedom of speech, women wouldn't have had the vote. Yeah. Oh, it's a distraction. It's it's That's very poor, it's but actually, where is the media, all of it, about this bill? They are in the pockets of the government. Even the That's why, program, yeah. They just want to fuck around talking about the dining street parties, where it's really yeah. they should be engaging with it. It's the policing bill, all right? It's appalling that if... For a long, long time in the United Kingdom, people have been allowed to protest, demonstrate on the streets if they disagree. Over a million people went out to protest about the war in Iraq. Uh, Blair went ahead with it anyway. And who has been proved right by history? The million people or so who went out marching, demonstrating, not in our name. All right? And Blair is a war criminal, all right? But the establishment has given him a knighthood. It's absolutely appalling.